is uh, 11 in the morning we're gonna check out and hit for Santa Monica for some more shopping and more food okay not too bad we were able to fit the large suitcase and some smaller ones here yeah and still have more space so uh, not too bad for such a compact car oh let me see yeah all right let's roll now in Santa Monica so we have a couple of hours to kill so I think wife wants to go uh, some shopping and I might hit the beach and let me let me Tesla okay mm -hmm. maybe I go to the Tesla store oh, let's see let's see all right just follow wifey there's your lights the weather Yeah, you know this is this is great great store because they actually have sofas around here. Yeah, look, several sofas where the men can sit and relax. Where, where while wifey is, I don't know where the heck she went now. She's gonna look at some shoes. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not into shoes. Yeah, so I'll just wait for her to finish. <laughs> and shrimp plus some sushi I think this is too much the portions in US are so freaking huge even I couldn't finish this alone my wife is hungry oh, well, that was a great lunch but you know what we are well, we're not running out of time well, well kind of running out of time but uh, we have to get back to the airport and deliver this uh, loaner but well it's rental car I mean but before that I had to fill up the car so oh man I, I'm a noob in USA here yeah. so I have to figure out how to do that and all that
Okay, so the last thing we have to do before we deliver the rental car is to fill it up. I was so stupid to go for that option, but I don't know what kind of fuel it uses. Man, why is it going to be so complicated? Okay. Select grade. I think that's right. I hope I don't ruin the, the rental car. Go! What? Oh, man, here, 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 credit. Insert card. Man, this is supposed to be easy, right? I don't have a zip code. I don't live here. Shit. Zip code, okay, let's press whatever zip code. Uh, five, seven something, I think that's it. Enter. See cashier. What is that? Okay, so you have to show the credit card and whatever first, and then. Did it blend? Oh, finally! Come on, fill it up. Fill it up with dinosaur juice. Oh shit! No way, no way, that's it. 6.9 dollars, pretty close to my uh, calculations. Alright, we are finally here at Avis. We are going to leave the loaner. I keep calling it a loaner. The rental car. Now let's head for the terminal. There's a bus. That's a bus. I need my. Hi. Okay, let's go. Long flight from LA to London and then back to Oslo. Huh. It's 11 ish hours, I think. We are finally back in Oslo and uh, the pilot said that it is minus 10 degrees Celsius outside. <laughs> From 25 to minus 10. Yeah, and if you look here, you see? So I left Optimus Prime with 280 something kilometers and after just eight days, we are lost 100 kilometers of range. Wait. Many days? Six days. Six days. So that's mean an average about 15 kilometers per day. <laughs> so no energy saving. And uh, last time we, we lost about 15 kilometers per day the first two days. And then we lost five kilometers per day every day. It went some, some, some kind of like 
um, saving state where I couldn't see the temperature. But this time I see everything, temperature still reporting, so I think it consumes a lot. So you have to expect worst case, which is 15 kilometers per day when you go on a long trip. Yeah. So best for you is to plug it in if you can. Because then it will just charge up to whatever level you set it to, and then you'll be good. But we have enough juice to get home. Yeah, so I'm gonna preheat the car soon. So it will be nice and warm and uh, hopefully I won't crack more windows. <laughs> uh, we are in Gordemont now. And that's very... Uh, why is he borrow my jacket? It's freaking cold here. It's uh... <sighs> See, I'm only wearing the storm jacket. Yeah, I can, I can withstand some cold. Minus 11 degrees Celsius, but it's not windy. I mean, huh? all right, let's go. We're gonna take the shuttle bus. Holy crap! You know, this is a very unusual case where I let the cars stay parked in the cold for too long. You know, usually I'm driving through the cold and then the car is nice and warm so um the crack in the windscreen has uh, spread it goes now all the way to the other side to the driver's side but i'll get it replaced tomorrow it's under um insurance for free but we have some problem with this door so we want to try to open it oh okay it kind of opens but i think it works now so um the workaround was that, you know, there was like lots of ice here. I tried to preheat half an hour before and it didn't really help, but just going to use the, the, the Nuff card. Oh yeah, uh, really comes in handy now. I don't want to damage the other cards. This one is not too too bad. So what you want to do is get rid of some of the, some of the ice uh, here at, near the glass. So because this, this one, because it's frameless window, it has to be able to move up and down. So let's try now. Let's see if it moves. Yeah, it seems to work now. Okay. But uh, on the other side. Okay, this looks fine, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That glass is on the outside. Uh, shit. Okay, so we have to get this window down, but it won't go down. Uh, I think it's frozen. I'm going to try to help it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so if we could just try to squeeze it in. There, there. Oh shit. So is that, we just have to. There, there, there. Okay, it's it's shut now. So now we're just gonna start driving, and hopefully, it will um, melt stuff in there. Yeah, <laughs> we need to melt some stuff. But you know what? Um, well, I, I could try to open the falconing doors, but I don't want to do it right here because uh, if we have some trouble, then uh, yeah, it's freaking cold. So let's get the heck out of here. Oh. Uh. This is freaking creepy because I hear some cracking sounds, uh, especially if I drive faster. So I, I cruise at 95 now uh, because now the crack goes all the way from uh, from left to right. So usually I never have this big crack. Um, so <laughs> well, I heard you know it's like safety glass, so it's not going to just crack open. But still, I mean, if it cracks open high at the highway, I these speeds and this temperature, gonna be freaking hell. When hell freezes over, right? Uh, <laughs> so let's hope it holds. I'm gonna fix it tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning. Yeah. Oh shit. I think wife is a bit worried. <laughs>
Okay, we are in Oslo now, and we're gonna pick up uh, Dolly. Oh, but oh no, speed bump! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh. Every time we go over speed bumps, I think I just hear this weird cracking sound. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but um, well, I've seen movies, you know, it just not, it doesn't just explode, but um, it's supposed to be like really sturdy. Um, so it's not gonna crack and like pulverize, but uh, I guess it's still not good if it it gets worse than this. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, get Dolly and then go back home and then tomorrow uh, we'll uh, replace the windscreen. Oh yeah, okay, I think I can park right here. This is a guest parking. We are parked now and uh, I want to avoid, uh, like, I, I want to avoid the temperature to go up and down because that might cre uh, create more tension. So what we're gonna do when we are uh, out there is um, keep climate on. Let me adjust here a bit. Okay, so key climate on, and then everything resets to automatic. No, we don't want that one. Wanna? Okay. Keep it like this for yeah four, and then just blow blow air to the to the lower area, not not directly to the windscreen. So um, yes, uh, this will keep uh, the temperature in the car more or less constant and um, avoid less damage. <laughs> or let's go get Dolly. Dolly. Whew, all right, we are finally home. So I'm gonna show you again the condition of the car. So we have some uh, ice here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the crack. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, we still have some here. It's slowly melting. It's not melting that much when we are moving. You know what? I will. Uh, I will just keep the heater running for a couple of hours to uh, to melt most of it because as long as we don't have stuff around the car then then it's fine and let me even show you here the falcon wing doors they open just fine yeah like that okay close that one open this one see would almost be better to have falcon wing doors <laughs> as front doors because they are uh, they are framed you know they're not frameless like uh, the front door uh, and also this one works fine yeah so um all right uh, there will be more winter videos coming this winter uh, but um, nice trip to uh, LA and back again in about a week yeah now it's back to freezing cold winter Ugh. so uh, that's it for now and soon we will resume the standard road trip videos around Racing Norway. <laughs> yeah.